Social host law, don't be a party to underage drinking. Before social host laws were put in place, citing someone for furnishing low point beer or other alcohol to underage youth was a long and tenuous process. Building a case meant the law enforcement would have to witness an adult providing alcohol to an underage person and actually witness the youth consuming the alcohol. For officers, pressing these charges was a labor-intensive job. Building these cases required a significant amount of time and resources. In addition to time and resource constraints, there was not actually a law in place regarding underage drinking on private property. In recent years, there have been an ever-increasing number of automobile crashes resulting in serious injury and even death. Because of underage drinking, these youth are at a higher risk to be exposed to and involved in homicides, accidental injury, suicides, violent crime, sexual assault, alcohol poisoning, neighborhood vandalism, drowning, and unplanned sexual activity. For these reasons and more, the first social host law was passed in Edmond in 2007. Over the next year, Edmond police made 71 arrests for social host law violations. Since then, another 106 social host laws have been passed in Oklahoma. With these new laws in place, the enforcement of social host laws can now involve citations and even incarceration. Impetus for the legislation came from the son of a female acquaintance of Representative Dan Kirby, a Republican from Tulsa. The woman's son, Cody, died at the age of 16 in a social host situation after he overdosed on alcohol and drugs. At the time of Cody's death, there was no law in the state against social hosting. This law falls under statute Title 37, intoxicating liquors under the specific sections 163.27, 219.2, 241.2, 518.3 and 8.2. And just to clarify, it does not directly address underage drinking or the furnishing of alcohol to underage youth. Social host laws are about providing the location for underage drinking. Enforcement procedure will typically start with the following. Officers will respond to a complaint call and proceed to the location of the party. Typically, these gatherings are at homes or at other private properties. Once there, officers will determine if there are any underage persons in possession of or consuming alcohol. At this point, officers will identify the host of the party. The host does not have to be over the age of 21 to be subject to citation or arrest. And lastly, all underage persons must be picked up by their parents or legal guardians. Adults who have been drinking must be picked up also. The following is a list of examples of standard actions an officer can take in the enforcement of social host laws. Check with your local laws in order to be sure of proper protocol. Without social host laws, the current law does not include low point beer and serious injury had to occur in order to cite those responsible. In these scenarios, officers must cite all hosts under the new social host laws. This includes both parents and all renters for hosting an event where underage persons are consuming alcohol. Officers must cite all violating underage persons for possession or consumption of alcohol. As of November 1, 2011, a state law has gone into effect making it illegal for any person to allow underage drinking on a property under their control. This includes any type of alcohol, any person of any age, and furthermore, this law applies to gatherings in which three or more people are in attendance. It does not include parents and their children, and it does not include religious ceremonies. All officers are encouraged to enforce these new social host laws. Social host enforcement will reduce calls for service for the following. Disrupting the peace. Social host laws help preserve the peace. They reduce crime, DUI, violence, crashes, property damage, and sexual crimes. And noise complaints. Social host laws reduce the amount of party noise complaint calls as enforcement becomes more known. But a clamp down on parents permitting their children to drink in front of them is the norm rather than the exception. The Wall Street Journal reports 31 states allow parents to furnish alcohol to minors. That's the case even though all 50 states have an official minimum drinking age of 21. The message and aim of social host laws is spreading and their enforcement aids in the discouragement of potential party hosts. There is also a growing community of support for this law, particularly among parents. By reducing these crimes, social host laws allow police to free up resources in the long term, allowing officers to better protect and serve their communities.